here we are. Uh, welcome everybody to this week's live channeling. I'm super excited to be here with you guys today. Thank you so much. Uh, today we are channeling with Bloodstone. So just while everyone's coming onto the live, if any of you have a piece of Bloodstone that you'd like to hold um, um, while I'm channeling today and tune in uh, with the channeling and messages, please uh, go grab it. Bloodstone is very very uh, stabilizing, very centering, very grounding for the sacral chakra, which is our, our, our second chakra. It's just below uh, the navel, just below the belly button. And, you know, a lot of people talk about wanting to have their chakras in balance, but the truth is um, our chakras are always in always in motion. They're always responding uh, energetically to what's happening in our world, what's happening around us, what's happening in our bodies and our systems. What I found in my work is that the sacral chakra, which is um, our emotional center, the center where our creative energy and passions are born and really kind of our emotional storehouse, it has a tendency to swing back and forth and really move a lot more than some of the other chakras in our system. And, and not surprisingly, the element that it's associated with is water, that, that kind of flow. And, and you know, bloodstone really kind of acts like an anchor for that that pendulum. There's still going to be movement, but it helps to ground. It helps to center. Um, so it's really very beneficial uh, emotionally. And uh, just before we get into the channeling, for those of you who you know found that really interesting and are interested in my work or perhaps training with me, enrollment did open today for my online Pro Crystal Healer course. Um, so if you're feeling called to go deeper into healing and, and crystal healing training. Training. You may want to check that out. That links in my profile. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Um, I personally am a great lover of bloodstone for grounding because I have, you know, a very fiery personality and very emotional. Uh, and I, I find that it's steadying frequencies are very beneficial for me. So here we go, tuning in. And it's it's interesting because right away I can describe the energy almost like a, a V or like a funnel, what I'm feeling in here. It's just bringing it all down um, into center, boom, very quickly. And again, I'm just feeling that energy kind of lowering me down into my body. And any of you who are holding your, your bloodstones as we go along, you may be feeling that as well. Just this lovely centering pull. This question keeps coming up of what could be of service to me. The question is, what could be of service to you at this time? What do you need? And it's very interesting, you know, uh, to have a crystal that's not only helping to ground us emotionally, but ground us in our needs, into tuning into ourselves, bringing us into this place of grounded center, and then tuning into ourselves and our needs. But we also have this great tendency to uh, put the needs of everything else first. And that's certainly something, <coughs> clearing of blockage, that's certainly something that we've heard before. But what I'm actually seeing, the word that comes to me is tasks. How we put tasks, we put the to-do list, we put the obligations, we put the things that need to be met, you know, all these things that need to be done or that we feel or believe need to be done. You know, always putting these things first every day and what's coming in last. And of course, there's a big finger pointing at me right now. Hello, busted. Um, um, you know, is listening to the self and caring for the self and even for myself personally, because of course that'll come up in this channeling. I'm the one who's tuning into the crystal. Um, um, you know, for myself per personally, that's also been a big process in the past while of you know that idea again of centering and balance what is at the core of everything that needs to be done everything that's moving around me everything that needs me it's me and so being aware of taking care of oneself first one's needs because we are the foundation for everything we hold up for everything we do for everyone we care for we are the foundation is that foundation solid is that foundation cared for is the needs of that foundation met and this is one of the big messages that's coming from bloodstone because bloodstone is seeking to be of service to all of you today that's the beautiful thing of my resonance in relationship with crystals is 
so much of you know when a crystal comes into my life we know because crystals have consciousness we know that it's not just about working with me but my work through crystals is also service for for all um and so this this big message of you know honoring the needs of the self of putting yourself first uh, negate this is the word negate the stigma of selfishness because they're saying that's a past thought that's old paradigm that's fallen away we are the foundations upon which everything works and so the foundation must be cared for the needs must be met so there's this an encouragement, especially for those of you who right now who feel like, uh, 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 you know, the life is living you. Uh, I think those are the words of, of Rachel Hollis. You know, life is living you as opposed to you living your life, uh, managing your life, owning your life. If you feel like you're in that state right now to sit quietly, this is the practice that's coming through, to sit quietly. Ooh, I'm getting chills now. Um, every morning, just quietly, just for five minutes, you can have your cup of coffee, cup of coffee cup of tea um, and just like a little uh, notebook or sketchbook where you either draw or make notes and just just hold your bloodstone and let it pull you in because its energy is very quick it's very fast it helps to pull you in pull you down and ground and center you and then allow that question to come up what do I need what do I need to pay attention to uh, uh, what has to be met what has to be cared for what have I been neglecting whatever that might be that's coming up for you and to make notes and find at least one actionable thing per day like I'm showing a list maybe five things you know these are things I'm feeling I need or I feel that I'm neglecting or whatever just what's one actionable thing that you can do that day apart from giving yourself your crystal therapy time in the morning um, um, to take care of yourself and to honor your needs first as the foundation. And it's saying the idea of being service, of being of service, one must always be of service to oneself first because uh, uh, you are the vessel. You are the vessel. You are the vessel of divine energy. You are the, the vessel of divine creativity you are the vessel of divine healing and is that vessel intact is the integrity of that vessel intact and again great emotional needs that can oftentimes be missed or be sidelined in an effort to take care of other things take care of others and so coming back to this idea grounding every morning in this idea before starting your day which I think is really quite beautiful um, is to tune into that idea of I am the vessel I am the vessel of divine or, or you know uh, whatever your religious uh, beliefs might be in terms of I am the vessel of a particular God or deity um, but I am the vessel of divine I am the vessel of life force I am a vessel of creation Creativity. I am a vessel of healing and how can I care for and honor the integrity the foundation the soundness the needs of my vessel first so that we have a world of people who are starting out in integrity in authenticity taking care of themselves in these divine uh, uh, healthy empowered intact vessels who are then going out into the world and exponentially the healing that happens again chills woo uh, the healing that happens the outer rippling effect is so very powerful um, it's the one that becomes the all but it begins with the one um, and so that's uh, that's the channeling uh, for for today that's the bloodstone channeling um, really very nice really beautiful really empowering i i love how these messages come through every week uh from the crystals it's all it's all them uh i just sit and blah <laughs> so um i do hope that was of service to you guys today and thank you so much for joining me and i'll put the request box up uh, for uh, next week's channeling. I'm getting some really great suggestions. Um, so uh, uh, I'll be here uh, same time, same place next week uh, with next week's channeling. So thank you so much. Bless you all. Please honor yourselves as sacred vessels and I will join you again soon.